Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for um, anyone who has a counterpart, a counterpart who is in a karmic relationship. Okay, so this is going to reflect on the karmic situation. So let me call in my spirit guides, my higher self, to guide and protect me in this reading and to let me be aware of the message that's being given to me so I can relay that message to you. So we want to know what's going on with the, um, with the karmic situation here. Whether it is a, um, an, a, a counterpart with a relationship or it can be any kind of karmic situation, okay? What what's going on here with that? Or you could be in a karmic situation as well, you know what I mean? So however you want it to resonate with you, how is this What's going on with the karmic situation? We did have the lovers popped out, okay? But that was... I had my deck turned upside down too, so it came out in reverse. What's going on with the karmic situation? So we have needing to make a decision. Something that has been put off for some time now is starting to arise. Possibly within this new moon, okay? Then we have the Queen of Cups. Now this is an energy of feeling emotions. Feeling emotions towards needing to make a decision. Okay? Feeling this. It's rising up. Taurus Capricorn. I mean, that's um, not Taurus Capricorn. Now you could be dealing with the Taurus Capricorn, okay? But I didn't mean that. I mean a water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is the moon rising. This is emotions coming up. Needing to... Needing to take care of business here, okay? Then we have trying to dodge the situation. But look, if we look closely, there's the two swords here that is being offered. Not only being offered, but it's something that has been repressed for some time now. And it's arising within this new moon, okay? It's definitely starting to come up. You're definitely starting to feel this. You've been wanting to make a decision. Now is the time to make a decision. Now is the time. Okay. There's definitely the Ten of Coins energy. This is in the challenging energy. So whatever the situation may be, they're not feeling stable or you're not feeling stable within this karmic situation. Okay. They really feel a lot of emotions behind this, okay? Not of not having security. They have been dodging this decision, needing to make a decision, dodging this. But you see this Libra here? This is also an air sign, so it is about love, okay? So they might be in love with this person or have been in love with this person, okay? But there's a feeling that they're not feeling grounded. They're not feeling secure. They're not having this abundance. And definitely change. Change is coming. Look, divine timing. The will of fortune is on. Is working with the universe. Is the universe. It is happening. This is a major arcana. Ten. Tens are always ending to new beginnings. There's a ten right there. Okay. Okay. If we add all these up, it's going to be 11. We have two 10s, a 7, and a 2. So we have 1, 1, 11. That's a high priestess. Definitely water energy. Definitely feeling intuitive. Definitely feeling that where they are right now with this karmic, with the karmic situation is not where they want to be. Okay? Let's read on here. We have the hanged man. Okay? Trying to see things in a new perspective. Now the hangman is in reverse. They're not wanting to see a new perspective on the situation, on the matter. They feel very, uh, very strongly about not feeling secure within this relationship. 
are within the situation, okay? They feel they feel the destiny clock is coming, the will of fortune. They feel this, okay? And then we have the Ace of Wands here. So, um, definitely desiring a new beginning, wanting a new beginning, feeling this new beginning from the Queen of Cups energy, feeling it emotionally, really being in tuned, okay? Because all these up here added up to the High Priestess. So, very, very um, intuitive feeling. Um, this is like solar plexus energy. It's a pull within their gut, within within the way they're moving, okay, um, into the direction. It's not feeling secure as well, trying to hide from the situation. I feel like they've been hiding from this situation for, for some time now. But I feel like this person has always had, um, had it in their mind that they were going to leave this situation as well. That it wasn't a set time, okay? Not only was it a set time, it wasn't a set time, but it wasn't going to last forever, okay? So they have been planning on this, okay? Planning on sneaking away, planning on getting away, not only sneaking away, but um, planning, planning, okay? Just strictly planning in the physical about, you know, look, definitely hiding behind the scene, okay? Now it's being, now it's time. Now you have, now these, now this person, sorry, now this person is definitely seeing the Two of Swords here, okay? And the Two of Swords is all about making a decision. This is the veil being taken from the eyes, okay? Seeing the truth. Now he's seeing the truth, or there, or she's seeing the truth, so therefore the situation is going to start lifting off here with the um, Knight of Coins, because this person has been planning Okay, planning to leave a situation, planning to get out of this situation where this person does not feel secure. Not only do they not feel secure, but it's about taking that blindfold off with the Two of Swords energy, taking that blindfold off, releasing um, any expectations with this situation, okay, because it's not going anywhere. So we definitely have the Wheel of Fortune coming. This is a karmic situation, okay? Things have been taught within this relationship, okay? They have learned. They have seeked knowledge. They have got knowledge. They have got some wisdom. This is justice. Yes, this is about karmic, karmic ties. But it's definitely teaching them something. They have learned something with on this journey that is pushing them forward more. They don't need to be stuck in this energy. I definitely feel like this will of fortune is turning, okay? From this karmic situation... So let's pull the um, last cards here. So we have the Empress, okay? I feel like this person feels like it's definitely time to make this decision with the Two of Swords. I'm not going to be stuck in limbo all the time. For, I've been stuck in limbo in the hangman mode for some time now. Now it's time to start to take care of what inspires me what do I want in my life what grounds me what is going to make me stable and secure okay I'm setting the intention with the Empress here is what they're saying to themselves okay I need to make this decision as well so that's really good they're getting away from uh, man manipulation also they're getting away from anything that is not uh, leading them into the right direction where they desire um, they have a strong energy of self-growth here with the Nine of Coins, okay? This is about fighting battles, winning battles. This is about accomplishing, accomplishing what their heart's desire is for themselves to be more secure, to be more sturdy within their life, okay? This is also about, um, you know, filling this as the Queen of Cups, filling this intuitively, filling this pool within their solar, uh, in their solar plexus, okay? Um, to move forward, to get away from all this, um, what's not serving them, okay? So now we have the Seven of Swords, the uh, Knight of Coins, and the Emperor. So this person has really set their ways with the, um, this is Aries, okay? Really set their way, ra ways, sorry, really grounded themselves and what they want to do with the Knight of Coins here. They've really planned out the situation, okay, to make this decision, Okay, 
Now, this if this isn't you, this is definitely uh, a partner that you're watching this for. They're definitely getting out of a karmic situation. They're moving away from it. They don't feel secure. They don't feel stable, okay? They're really opening up their eyes to why this is in their challenging position. Opening up their eyes, seeing that this does not serve me anymore. Not only does it not serve me, but I, I've been hurt. I've been hurt, but it's also about learning as well with the Justice card here in the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Look, this person is kneeled down with this um, wand in, in, in the hand, okay? And it's lit up with the crystal. This is about activation. This is about knowing. This is about hearing that call, okay? And really wanting to set that intention and move forward. Set the, that intention with the, the Empress right here. Because why? Because they have been hanging out as the hangman within this karmic situation for some time now. Or this karmic partner. They don't want to do that anymore. They've gained, gained a lot of clarity, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of knowledge with Justice card here. They're ready to move on with what they desire. Okay? And they desire to fight their battles um, fully and intentionally to win. Okay? Look, not giving up, pressing on, perseverance. This is also about feeling secure, okay? Needing this security, okay? Wanting this security. So we have Major Arcana, the Will of Fortune, Justice, the Will of Fortune. We have the King of Wands, taking action. So again, if this is, you know, a divine mask, if you're looking for this divine, if you're looking on the station... For about your divine masculine. This is definitely divine masculine taking action with the king of wands. Knowing where he belongs. Okay. Um, knowing where he does not need to belong. Or where knowing where he he he's not wanted as well. Okay. Um, you know, this divine masculine is definitely feeling insecure with this relationship, with this karmic situation, he wants to take action. And it's great because this divine masculine actually, or this could be a divine feminine as well, okay, is definitely, even though it is a king of wands, the king of wands is very someone who has mastered their passions and their desires to move forward, okay, to move forward from a situation that no longer serves them. And that's what's going on. Let's look at the bottom deck. There's a lot of card on the bottom of the deck a lot of clarity a lot of understanding a lot of awareness that's what the eagles are awareness success success gained wisdom justice as well because justice here holds the sword of truth so there's a lot of truth there's also a lot of um uh setting the intentions the three card the sorry about my camera is not focusing in you guys um <clears throat> but this is let me see. Okay, this is definitely setting the intention to move forward. And we have the three, the Empress right here, Major Arcana in the first position, setting the intention to not stay around and linger in this karmic situation anymore. They're definitely moving forward here, okay? And so, with that being said, um, this is let's see. So they got a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding about you know I don't belong in this situation. Not only do I not belong in this situation, they keep on telling themselves that this opportunity is is right at their door, is beckoning at their door. You see, because this person does not want to come out into the open and say, you know, or he wants to keep secrets, you know, secrecy. But this, it's it's being offered again with the two of swords here. Are you going to make this decision, you know? And I really feel like this person is definitely taking action. Why? Because on the corners of the spread, we have setting the intention, planting new seeds. Um, Start of rebirth of light, okay? Making the decision, need to make a decision, something that was repressed for some time now, okay? Is definitely um, calling to this person, okay? Then we have the, um, the will of fortune, which is definitely moving on from a karmic situation and taking action with the king of wands here, okay? And in the right smack in the middle, we have the knight of coins. The knight of coins is also about, um, you know, planning. This person has known for some time now that this, whether whatever he was in or she was in this karmic situation for, you know, um, 
this person has always known that this was not going to last, okay? Something was going to fall through, nothing, you know, it, it, it wasn't going to work. It was going to be like a tower moment, okay? And that's, like, the next card we have is the uh, Page of Swords. So this is definitely something being offered to them. And this is definitely something that they have been planning on for some time now. Just haven't take, taken any action, okay? But look at this. We have the Emperor. This is setting ways. So this is awesome for whoever is watching this. If their partner is in a karmic situation, they're, they are getting out of this karmic situation. They are realizing it. They are awakening to it. They're very intuitive, and um, let's just pull one card here for this is for karmic situation. Look, this card is wanting to come out. Choose your battles, definitely. This is seven. This is um, I think this is the seven of wands. Yeah, this is the seven of, well, let me, sometimes, this is wands energy though, so this is taking action. This is all about convic convictions, residence, defense. <clears throat> evaluate they're evaluating their paths they're looking um let me read it to you as much as you like all of your relationships to be harmonious this is not always the case beliefs and opinions clash and each person struggles to validate his or her position sometimes it's important to take a stand and assert your convictions however this attitude may be misread as aggression and the other person may push back you then feel the need to justify yourself it becomes a cycle of confronting and defending, which can be exhausting and damaging to the relationship. Are you currently engaged in conflicts with others or even with yourself? If so, it is time to evaluate your situation. If you believe strongly in your position and know that the outcome will serve everyone's highest good, stand your ground. If being the victor is truly not worth the discard, consider letting go. Don't allow the desire to win prolong a battle that is unnecessary. Yeah, so that is it for the um, karmic situation, okay? I hope you all, I hope you guys like this reading. Sorry about my camera I'm going in and out. I will be fixing that soon. And um, please like, share, give it a thumbs up, and comment below. Thank you.